Hey folks, welcome back to Return of the Obra Dinn, where last time we spent an ungodly amount of time looking at tags on hammocks to try to identify a single seaman, which we did successfully. Uh, we were in Chapter 7, The Doom, and we determined that this man, Abraham Akbar, was crushed by a loose cannon. That was part three of the Doom, so we're going to dive back into part four by taking a look at this fella. Yeah, this was, this was pretty brutal. So, Akbar over here uh, was killed by the cannon, but he'd already lit the fuse, and it, and the, the force of the blast is driving the cannon backwards through the wall, and it is also killing this individual, who we have previously identified as the gunner. And we now know that he was killed by Ak Abraham Akbar. So, what else can we learn? There were four other present here for this event. There was the dead man, and there were these three over here. This man we've identified as Maba. Uh, this man we've identified as Lewis Walker. And this man we've identified as Henry Brennan. So that's the three of them. Who's the fourth person present? Uh, let's take a look. So we have Brennan, the dead man, the gunner. This unknown seaman was here. Where is he at? Where is he located in this tableau? The ominous music is very, it's a little repetitive, but it's very, very good. So you're getting blown apart by the cannon. Did somebody get flung out the window? Or is that, no, that's the Kraken's arm. Your head got blown off. Where is this fourth dude? It says you were present. I don't see you, though. I mean, I see one, two, three. There's the dead man. Then there's the guy who got killed. Where is the fourth man? Where are you in this scenario? You got hit by the cannon blast and slammed into the wall. I don't actually see him in here. It doesn't feel like we can go up or down. I'm not sure there's anything else to learn from this. I mean, was he... Perhaps... He wouldn't have been in a hammock at this point. The whole ship is fighting for its existence, for its life. There's the dead guy. There's the killed guy. There's those three. Oh, he's over in the corner here. Here you are. Wait, so that's Volkov. That's Maba. Or is that Maba? That's Maba. This is Brennan, right? So you must be... You've got a full beard. You're Lewis Walker. So you must have been what blasted out the window? Were you were you over here in the previous memory? Maybe he was here in the previous memory. Or is it, are there two bodies? Did he get blasted out the window into... He must have gotten... Maybe he got yoinked by that tentacle. I can't see if it's holding anything. I don't really see a second body. Unless he got... Hold on. I need to check the previous memory, I think, for this guy. This is the dicing guy, right? We weren't sure... We weren't sure where he was on the... This is... I think this is the dicing guy. It says three, three difficult triangles to deduce his identity. 
And we don't exactly know what happened to him. But I think he was here. If we go to the sketch. Yeah, he's the dicing guy. We don't know exactly who he is. He's hanging out with a bunch of other seamen and topmen. So he's definitely not an officer. He's dicing. He's either a seaman or a topman. Not sure which. I think I need to check the previous memory. It says he's present. Right? Uh, if we go to the Doom Part 4. He died. So there was one, two, four others were present. So there should be six on here. One, two... Three, four, five, six. Yeah. So we've seen Maba, we've seen Lewis Walker, we've seen Volkov, and we've seen Brennan. The gunner definitely died. So what happened to this guy? And was he present in the previous memory? Let's go back to part three real quick and verify if he was here. Because if he was, he got sucked out the window somehow. Maybe snatched out by a tentacle or something. Uh, where's the door to exit? Over here. So this is... We're in part four. Yeah, he was present for part three. Hold on. Let me double check his positioning. Uh, we can do that by looking at part three. Is this him? Yeah, this is the dicer. So... In memory three here, which happens just a few moments before, this window, the frame is fine, and this tentacle is creeping in, and he is exposed to it. So when we leave and go to memory four... I don't know if we can figure out his identity yet. Probably not. But when we go to memory four... I don't think it's the cannon blast that breaks the window. I don't think so. I would love to see what's in the tip of the tentacle, but I think he must have been yanked out the window. I don't think it's the cannon blast. I'm not sure if it is. It seems not, because the, it's, well, maybe it is the cannon blast, but I think he must have gotten yoinked. It's interesting that it says he was present here, can't see the tip of the tentacle, so I can't see if he's being held, but I think he was yoinked out. So, this unknown seaman, what do we say here? Clawed, clubbed, crushed. I mean, either drowned or eaten, I guess? It seems like he was torn out the window, like pulled out the window by a tentacle would be my best guess. And so, I guess we have to infer that he was eaten by a terrible beast? I mean, I guess that's kind of the best we can say. I was, was the, were the tentacles trying to like, pull them to its maw to feed on them, or? It is weird that the book says he was present. Because he doesn't appear to be present. It looks like he got yoinked out the window. I like the word yoinked, if you, if you can't tell. I don't know whether he would be considered drowned or, or eaten. But either he was eaten or he was so injured by being pulled out the window that he just drowned. Might be safer to say drowned. Now, I'll leave it as that for now. We may have to come back and revisit that. All right, let's go on to uh, memory five for the Doom. See what we can learn there. So we've already seen this. He was crushed by a loose cannon. He's a little bit behind me and to my right. So that'd be this guy, I think. Okay, so there was an officer present. I think it must have been this midshipman, right? Yeah. 
You're another midship. So there's two midshipmen here coming down to see what's happened. Ship is healing over. Can I get past them to get to the upper deck? No, I can't. I cannot pass them. So the ship is keeling over. This guy gets killed by the loose cannon. We've already identified him. Third mate steward. We verified his death. Crushed by a loose cannon. What else is going on in here? Anything that gives us clues or hints about anything? We did hear a voice that was accented. Martin Parrott here was another officer who might have been being addressed. Leonid Volkov, this topman, is alive right now. I'm not sure there's anything else we can get from this view. I mean, we can see the number on this tag. This is 45. I think we've already seen 45. We had seen 43 and 44. So if we check, that's 43, 44, 45. I think we'd seen all of them already. Yeah, Maba, Lewis, Walker, and Lena and Volkov. Okay. Um, does the angle change visibility on any of the other things that we had trouble seeing before? 36. I don't think so. 41. Hmm. So we've got one, two, three, four, five accounted for, and... On part five, four others were present. So we've seen everybody who's here. I don't know that there's much we can we can gather from this right now. Doesn't feel like it, so I'm, I think I'm going to move on here. There's the voice. Uh, you're Russian. You're an officer. You might have had the accent. You might have been speaking before you were crushed. All right, I think we gotta. I think we gotta leave this one and move along to part six. I don't know that there's anything I can get from that right now. Uh, part six. This is on the main deck. There was an explosion. Okay. Let's head up to the main deck and check on this memory. So it's forward and left. I think it's this guy. Yeah, there we go. Part six. Okay, so... I'm not exactly sure what they were trying to do here. I think they may have roped themselves to avoid being pulled off. I think the tentacle had grabbed this guy. Somebody threw the powder. Who do we have here? This is a midshipman. An unknown midshipman. This is another unknown midshipman, right? We're very close to identifying these guys. We need to find one more memory where one of them was talking about trying to save the other. I think, now hold on, actually. Forget bargain. Let's go to escape. Uh, 
tell Pete's mother I tried my best to pull him back to save him. Yeah, they're talking about this moment right here. They had tied them, they had roped themselves up to try to prevent the Kraken from pulling them off. And so he's trying to pull him back, which means this is Pete. This is the Pete midshipman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. This is the midshipman with the name Peter. Peter Milroy. Blasted by an explosion. And that means that this midshipman here... ...is the last midshipman. Uh... Thomas Lanky? Yeah. So the way the game works, I think, is that we have a verified midshipman, and that's not available for us to choose here. So there's unknown midshipman, Peter, and Thomas. And now we know which is which, which is helpful. Okay, I was I knew that was something I could I could determine eventually with the midshipmen, because there are only three of them. Uh, is there anything else we can learn from this? I don't know who threw the powder. If we look at we're in the wrong chapter, hold on. Get to the main bit quick. Hold on, hold on, throw it, throw the powder. I'm not sure what the bit is. Or who threw the powder. You have an ordinary blade. Who are you? Do we know? You are Maba. You're about to be torn apart, unfortunately for you. This is the gunner? The gunner's mate, Olus Wiater. We don't know who shot you, but you were carrying a bunch of guns up. And then down below, we have the fourth mate, John Davies trying to come up to help. I can't get past him to get to the lower deck. Who else is visible? I don't know who... I guess Maba must have thrown the powder, or... Maybe one of the topmen? Is there... Are there topmen around? Somebody in the rigging? I don't think they would have stayed in the rigging during the, the fight with the Kraken. Would have been asking for death. So they would have tried to get down if they were up there. I don't know who could have thrown the powder... Or lit it, for that matter. Maybe he did it himself? Maybe this guy... Sacrificed himself? I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. You have a lantern. You're holding on. You're holding a, a blade. You're stumbling because the ship is keeling while you're trying to carry rifles up to help the fight. I don't know who would have thrown the... Who's present? So we've got the two midshipmen. We've got the gunner's mate. We've got the fourth mate. We knew about that. And we've got Maba. So... Oh, this, this topman. I don't know if we know who this, I don't know if we know that this is Omen Gull. I'm going to put this back to an unknown topman for now. Where are you? You must have been the one who threw the powder. So where are you in this, in this scenario? Why don't I see you? Are you up in the rigging somewhere? Oh, he's getting thrown off the ship. He might have drowned if he never shows up after this. Disappeared in the doom. Yes. He must have drowned because we can see him getting we can see him getting tossed off the ship here. And he was never seen again, right? So where is he? He's up here, right? He's he's present on the main deck in part six. In part seven, he's no longer present. So whoever he was, he must have drowned. He got thrown off the ship, and I guess he must have drowned. By a terrible, drowned by a terrible beast, I guess? I guess that's what we can say about him for now. Huh. Okay, I think that's all we can get from memory six. Let's, let's move on to memory seven. Uh, we need to exit and then go watch Mama get torn apart. I think that's this one.
No, it's behind me. I think this is it. Yeah, he's got half a body. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty nasty, pretty brutal. This guy, whose identity I still have no idea of, he was present. He's, he's holding his hand out and pointing to... I'm not sure who these people are. I don't know what's going on. He's telling them to he's telling them to like stay back. Yeah, I remember this. He was he was like he was involved in this justice at sea thing somehow because he was speaking to them to stay back. And we might be able to get his accent from that. I'll have to try and remember to come back to that later. But I don't know who who the f he is. One of the topmen over here. Wei Li, I guess we've identified him from his bunk, or he was near the bunk of Wei Li. Seemed likely that that was him. Um, let's see. He's tossing a gun to you. Yeah, so you made it up the stairs, right? You're the gunner's mate? Yep. Okay, and you're tossing a gun to... the bosun. You're hanging on because you've got a rope around you. You're one of the midshipmen who's you're the midshipmen who survived this attack. Who are you? The fourth mate? Okay. Was there anyone else present that we haven't accounted for? This person was Leonid Volkov. There's a couple of bodies that were in the rowboat, it looks like, that got flung away. I don't know how we're going to identify them. Three bodies. Yeah, drowned. I guess. Flung. They So in an earlier memory, could we see them in the, in the boat? I don't remember that. All right, have we accounted for everyone? Lewis Walker. I don't know where you are. Mob is being torn apart. Don't know where Nathan Peters is. We saw Volkov. We didn't see this unknown seaman. We saw this guy and this guy. Uh, we saw the bosun and the gunner's mate. The midshipman. I don't remember seeing the fourth mate. Or this unknown steward. Or the third mate. So is there... Is there can we go down to a lower deck? Or were they flung off the ship? There's a couple people who should be present here that I don't see. So where would they be? What are they doing? Yeah, I think that's an interesting clue. If the, if the book says they were present and you can't see them in the memory, then you gotta figure something out about them. So those three out there, we can't identify them from here, but they must have died. So, mob is being torn apart. You survived to be clubbed later. So where are you, Lewis Walker? That's Volkov. You're not Lewis Walker. You're not Lewis Walker. Ah, is this you? No, that's the third mate. Are you cowering somewhere, Lewis? You you survived, so you have to be here somewhere. That's Wei Li. It's weird that I can't see him. Feels strange. Like it feels like there might be some information there, a clue or something. You're getting tossed a gun. 
Who are you again? You're Volkov, right? No. Yeah, you are Volkov. You're cowering at the capstan. You're the midshipman. You're a mate. You're not... You're, where is where is this guy? Where is he hiding? Did, is he one of the three getting flung off? Did he somehow survive that? I mean, the fight's almost over, because that gun... That explosion, I think, did the job, if I recall correctly. But he doesn't seem to be on deck anywhere, so I'm not sure why it says he's part of this memory, unless he's one of the three who got flung off. Alright, let's take another look. Um... So we've identified... We don't know where he is. We've identified the Topman. We don't know where Peters is. We identified Volkov. We don't know where Maba is. So these three right now are unaccounted for, by me at least. You we've seen, you we've seen. Yeah, we've seen all of you guys. So these three are getting flung off. But these two at least survive. I mean, I guess that has to be the three of them. These two at least survive to come back and get killed another way later. Or he, he, well, maybe he died here. You definitely survived. But I don't know, where do you disappear? Disappeared in the doom? This might be your death scene. Are you, do you disappear in the doom as well? Yeah. So I think we have to say that you were drowned by a terrible beast. Yep, that was right. Okay. Three more fates correct. Nathan Peters. Christian Wolf, And Peter Milroy. Blasted midships by, ex by an explosion. Okay. That puts us at, I believe, 33. Okay, back to the scene. Uh... Now, Maba must have died here as well. Oh, am I on the wrong thing? Yeah, we're on the wrong thing. Maba must have, um, or whoever this guy is, I think we decided to determine he's one of two English seamen. And it might be, yeah, I think we determined he could either be Alexander Booth or George Shirley, but we don't know yet. Uh, he definitely was drowned by a terrible beast. And then, he must have survived somehow. He must be one of the three getting flung off. But he must be a strong swimmer or something. Like, maybe you can see him there. He's, like, already kind of, like, doing a dive to survive. Maybe. Uh, if we take a look... We know he survived. Because... He survived for this. He perished in the end, part three, yeah. Somehow he survived being... He must have been flung off, but somehow he survived. Um, also, if we go... I mean, I, I've, I've had so many opportunities for this to be verified, and it just seems like it has to be wrong. I think this has to be Patrick O'Hagan. And it feels pretty clear that he was knifed by Itbang Shah, but one of these things is wrong. Let's turn him back to just unknown for now. And we'll try to we'll try to resolve that later. I mean, yeah, we're we're going to have to try to resolve that later. All right, so we've gotten what we can from this memory, which is where are we? We're in the Doom part 7 of 8, is that right? Yeah. And then we already know that Abigail Hoskett was crushed. We don't know who this dude is, but we know he was drowned by a terrible beast. Or we think he was. We did see him flung off the same as the others. So I think that's a verifiable uh, death, but we just not, we're not sure who he is. All right, let's go, let's go watch part eight, I guess. Yeah, we have to go into the captain's cabin to trigger this. I mean, we're making progress, right? 33 out of 200 is a lot, but 
We're, we're making progress. We're starting to narrow things down. Let's watch Abigail's death. So we definitely heard her die. I think Martin Nichols is... No, not Martin Nichols. Uh, Martin Parrot was talking to her, shouting to her over the, over the thing, and then... Yeah. She was crushed by a terrible beast when it snapped the mast and slammed it into her head. I mean, there's not much else to say about her death, but we can take a look at what else is going on on deck and try to determine some identities or fates that way, perhaps. All right, who are you? This is the first mate, Steward, Paul Moss. That's not verified. We have the two ladies here. If we look at where they are on... Yeah, they were in the fancy passenger's cabin over here, I think. Or they're... Well, they're, they, yeah, they may have been in the, in the passenger's cabins, which makes sense. The two ladies. We don't know which is which, though. I mean, if we, if we look at ladies' names, right, and they have to be passengers, then they can only be Emily Jackson or Jane Bird. But we don't know which is which right now. They don't appear to have be injured or dead here. I mean, I would guess, actually, that the younger woman is the miss. So, like, tentatively, we could say that you're the miss... Miss Jane Bird. And we could guess that you're Emily Jackson, but we're not we're not 100% on this yet. We can't assume this is correct. But if I had to guess, I would say I would say you're the the elder of the two and that makes her the miss. All right. Remind me who you are again. First mate Stuart Paul Moss. Okay. Uh, yeah, the, the gunner's mate here is pointing a gun at the, at the creature. I mean, all you can see is its tentacles. There's waves. This is water. This is a wave coming over, crashing over. And in this memory, it's solid, so I can't bypass it. I can't get up on there. So who else do we have in here, and what can we learn about them? This guy, who we still have no friggin' clue who this is. He is stabbing it with a spear or something. Oh, you're about to have your arm ripped off, huh? The bosun. Perished in escape, part one. Okay, so you survived this encounter, for now. You managed to pull your arm away from the tentacle or it's dying. Look, it's got a sword in it, he's stabbing it. They shot it with explosions. Oh, look at this. Who are you? You had a pretty shitty day, huh? Wei Lee here. Disappeared in the doom. Yeah, so I think we have to assume, like, the way that tentacle's wrapping around him, I don't think he's coming back from that. So I think we can assume his fate is drowned by a terrible beast. Who else have we got on deck? Anyone else that we can see? You're over here pulling Maba away. I guess you pulling his the top half of his body off the deck or trying to do something with him. I guess you cared about him? Yeah, you were clubbed later. Lewis Walker. Not sure why you were dragging the top like you you didn't think you could save him. I can't imagine you thought you could save him at that at this point. There's his his he's in half. Half his body is gone, so why are you dragging him? What are you doing with him? Not sure about that. And it seems like that's about it. Who have we not seen? We've seen the two ladies. We saw him dragging his friend. We saw you with the ladies. You were talking to Abigail. The helmsman. We don't know where you are right now. 
What was your fate? You disappeared in the doom? All right. I'm guessing you were drowned then. Uh, we saw the gunners, mate. We saw this guy. We saw Wei Li. We saw... I think we saw the bosun. So the only question is what happened to the helmsman. Actually, I should have been able to figure this out from the start of the game just by where he's standing. He's literally holding the helm right now. So let's say you were likely drowned by a terrible beast. I mean, we don't know that. But I don't see him anywhere else. He was present right here. We're saying these guys were drowned. Don't know who he is. Don't know who he is. Don't know who he is. Yeah, he's got... These guys all have, like, high levels of difficulty to deduce indicated on them, which I appreciate because it is very difficult. I mean, I can't imagine any other fate in this encounter if you disappeared than that you got knocked overboard. Especially if you were on the main deck. And you got drowned by a terrible beast. So... This guy is here right now. Right? No, that's a different guy. That's the first mate steward. Not one of these. Uh, where's this other guy? You're not over here. Is he present for this? We're at part eight. Is he here for this? Or did he already disappear? He's not here for this. That's him. That's him, right? Yeah. I mean, he's got an ascot and a coat. I don't know what that makes him. Maybe he was the purser or something. But if we look at the end, I mean, I don't know who you are, but you must have been drowned by a terrible beast like everybody else, I think. And that's kind of all we can tell from the eight parts of the Doom, at least for now. Oh, who are you? You're the per- okay, you're, you're the helmsman. Yeah, you're definitely getting yanked off the ship, so I think it's fair to say you were drowned by a terrible beast. We should look at the other tentacles. Yeah, they're all grabbing people and ripping them off the ship. They're ripping things off the ship. It's not clear to me what provoked it, whether it was related to the shell or if that was just something else. But it's definitely ripping people off the ship and tearing the ship apart. I think it's trying to eat them. All right. Well, that's it for the Doom for now. I'm sure we'll be revisiting all of these me memories multiple times. Uh, Drowned by a Terrible Beast. Drowned by a terrible beast, likely, likely, definitely, definitely. Don't know, I don't know what happened to you, but if you disappeared in this chapter, then most likely you were drowned by a terrible beast. I mean, it has to be that way. We can't do chapter eight, so we'll move on to chapter nine here. Escape. Let's take a look. Location of the corpse was at the rear of the ship on the gun deck. Okay. Let's go get started. On chapter 8, the escape. Is it chapter 8? No, chapter 9, the escape. Alright, so yeah, I need to get to the rear of the ship on the gun deck to find his death. Or find his corpse. So it's back here somewhere. This guy. Squid, where is my Frenchman? The squid's gone. Your mate was torn apart. The, that, the beast is dead. How? How did you kill it? We didn't. It left with the storm. Captain came up from the hold. Said he chased it off. 
You should rest. A curse like that does not live for nothing. Yeah, the bargain, right? The bargain. So, during the doom, the attack by the Kraken, the captain went down to the lazarette and made some sort of bargain. It must have been to end the storm and drive it away. As for him, I know what happened to him now. His arm got ripped off by the Kraken, so we can't actually give him a fate here. Uh, he was torn apart by a terrible beast. Nice. Three more fates correct. So obviously we got the bosun right. And I'm guessing some of the disappearances. All right, they'll give us the helmsman. And they'll give us Wei Li for now. Okay. To 36, I think? Oh, something just changed. I haven't seen that flash of light before. All right, let's take a look at what else happened in this memory. This is chapter nine, The Escape, part one. Five others were present. We've got John Davies, the bosun who died, Thomas Lanky, the gunner's mate, first mate, and the captain. And that's it, all officers. So you're without your hat right now. You're John Davies, all right. You're the gunner's mate. This is the first mate, Hoscut. Yep, okay. Got the captain, I think. No. Oh, Thomas Lanky was coming up from the from below. Wonder if he was involved in the captain's negotiations. This is the captain, right? Yeah, okay. So we've seen the captain, we've seen the first mate. We've seen Lanky and the gunner's mate and the bosun and the fourth mate. So we've seen everybody. Is there anything else we can learn in this memory that's not related to the people? I don't know. Maybe? Like, a lot of the crew is dead by now. Like, a lot of people died. A lot of people. I think we're done with this memory. I don't think there's anything much more to know except that it's odd that Lanky was down there with the captain, but maybe we'll learn more about that later. All right. Part two... Uh, Paul Moss. This is on the main deck. I think up on the... On the upper part. Alright, let's get up to the main deck and review this. We may be able to identify his attacker now. Or we might not, I'm not sure. I think it was this one? It was either this one or this one. It's to my left. I think it's this one, maybe. Is this part two? Yes, okay. Last one. Move quick. You'll not take the last one. Hold it down. Yeah. Okay. So the doom struck. They kind of uh, regrouped. The officers regrouped and saw the bosun die. The captain came up from the hold claiming he had chased off the Kraken after the bargain chapter that we don't know anything about. And then this individual, uh, the first mate steward, Paul Moss, we think, was trying to help the passengers get off the ship. And this guy... Is this Volkov? I think this is Volkov, right? Yeah, we've identified him. He was saying, you're not taking the last boat, not without me. This lady was calling for Paul. Who else was down there? The surgeon? The person we've guessed is Miss Jane Bird. And Emily Jackson, we think they're on there. And they're down there with this guy, the fourth mate steward, Davy James. These four may have, these, these guys, one, two, three, four, they may have actually escaped here. Because the first mate, 
Yeah, the first mate and Brennan come running to stop Volkov, who's trying to stop them because he wants to get on the boat or he wants the boat for himself. Let's review. Last one, move quick. Oi, you'll not take the last boat. Oh, look out. And the captain calls, stop, let them go. I think, I think the lady screams no, and then he says damn as he's stabbed. So we know how he died now. We have his attacker. The captain's firing in the air here. Oh, look at you. Who are you again? Lewis Walker? You're still on the ship. Yeah, okay. Who else is present that we haven't accounted for? There's Volkov, Walker, these two ladies. Yep. Then we have the steward, the surgeon, the captain, the first mate. I haven't seen the gunner's mate, I don't think. We saw Brennan. I don't know about John Davies. So there's like two men that I'm not sure where they are in this, in this memory right now. Hmm. Maybe they're down here. Yeah, they're down here doing something. That's Thomas Lanky. Why is he listening? He's like sneaking on them. He's listening in. This guy is like crying, John Davies. He's crying because the bosun died. And there's the gunner's mate. Or was that... That was the bosun, right? Yeah. It's weird that Lanky is like listening in. This is very strange. I think that's important to remember. But uh, I'm not sure what else we can get from this memory aside from finishing off Moss's death and maybe, maybe locking that in. Uh, he was killed by Volkov. Where's Volkov? And that's really all we can say for this memory. So that'll take care of Escape Part 2. And uh, when we come back next time, we'll get into the rest of this. And we're going to have to keep going through these memories, going through these memories, figuring out what did we miss or what did we not know before that can allow us to do something new. Uh, but we're, we're nearing our second playthrough, this time in chronological order, as best as I could manage, of the whole story. Obviously, there are still gaps. There's still things we're missing, primarily the bargain chapter, which we won't get until later. But we are making progress. I think we're at 33 or 36 fates solved. So that's not bad. In fact, I can see if I quit to title here and then hit uh, continue. Yeah, 36 fates solved. Not bad at all. So we are making progress, and uh, we'll be back next time with more of that. Until then, thank you so much for watching, and take care.